Morning guys, Scott from SE Landscaping and a busy day today. I shall show you what we've got on the back. We've got a bit of work to do with our weed brush on a car park first thing, which we shall get you some footage of. And we've got our new TC that I talked about in the last video, courtesy of Greg's mowing. And we're going to put the War Memorial later ready for next week's remembrance. As well as a bit of power washing also for next week's remembrance. And then if we get time, we might tidy this trailer up because it is looking slightly dirty after last week's excavating. So stay tuned guys and we shall get you a bit of footage. So another war memorial area that we have to get rid of, get ready for um, the end of the week. All this paving will get cleaned with our moss brush but not today. The plan today is to use the Atesia Pro 51 and just to tidy these back areas up here of grass so this is the mower we've just purchased from Greg's mowing first Atisi we've had and best bagger on the market from what I've seen and from demonstrating a few weeks ago so we shall give it a go
saw, that's the Atesia Pro 51. Um, early days, but what I like about it is it does what it says, it bags every time, picks up all them leaves as well as the grass. Um, a lot of some people don't like the handles, the way it's set up, and the box that will take a bit of getting used to getting it in. It's a bit faffy, but apart from that, it is uh, it's a great mower. I'll run you through the areas. So, should we be cutting grass in County Durham in November? Answer is no, and I'll show you why. If you just come down here, look how spongy that is very wet and the reason i've chose to cut this today is because it's remembrance on sunday and by sunday this will look well because the uh the tram lines will have um removed themselves from the grass so it's obviously monday so it's got a it's got nearly a week to uh to recover but it is it has done what i need to it will look good by uh, sunday we will be back later in the week to do the the other areas so i'll get a little bit of footage but great machine over the moon with it so um there will be a part two or we, or there will be an add-on to this video because like i say i've cut the grass but we've got to come back and prune the shrubs and clean that paving ready for remembrance so the grass will as i said earlier in the video the grass will recover by doing it this early but it is uh you saw that Bob Mary really waterlogged, but we have no choice at the end of the day. This is a big event. It needs cutting. Um, in hindsight, I should have probably brought the hater with the rear roller, uh, but then that probably wouldn't have picked up the leaves. So this trade, as everybody knows, it's a catch-22. There's always some problems that something won't do this or something won't do that, and other things work. And just a thank you again to Greg's Moan because I'm over the moon with the mower. It, uh, it, it does exactly the same as I thought it did, which from the demo a couple of weeks ago when it was a bit of a wet day and it worked fine. So pleased to have invested in it. Um, Greg will be away Sunday self on the, the money he charged me, no doubt, to some foreign country. And that's pretty much it for that this one. So like I said, there'll be a there'll be a part two where we tidy the rest of that up. So we shall um, we shall see you on the next one.